G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to add internal links in WordPress. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so as you can see, I'm on the back end of WordPress. What you can do, simply that you have a couple of options. You can go into your pages and access your builder through that. Depending upon what system you have, we have Oxygen. If you have Elementor, if you have Divi, if you have really any of those Astra themes, anything, it's going to be pretty similar to how I show you. Now, if you go on to visit site, now, like I said, this is Oxygen, so it'll be edit with Oxygen. Uh, sometimes with Elementor, there's also an edit with Elementor. Uh, if you just have the Gutenberg theme, it'll be edit page, but you can go edit with Oxygen for us. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's taking us into the editor so we can add our internal link to the WordPress website. All right. Now, when it comes to adding internal links uh, to your WordPress website, you want to make sure that you don't go overboard with it. You are only placing links where they're relevant. So if a reader was to gain and gain cool insight and valuable insight from clicking on that link, then it's worth sending them away. It's also worth as a lot. It's also worth doing if you have a page authority that you want to pass around. I do have another video that talks about internal links. If you don't know, if you're not 100% sure how to identify where they are and, and all of that, you can go check out that video that'll be above. But what we wanna do is just scroll down. So for this example, we're going to send a uh, link off to the steel transport page, okay? So we're going to send an internal link over to this page right here, okay? Now, for us, uh, our anchor text is going to be the keyword. The reason for that is, is honestly because we don't have many internal links. This is a new website, new client just onboarded with us. So I think, and this is my personal opinion, some SEOs say yay and nay to this, but I think when you're starting out, you need all the help you can get, and you should be utilizing links that are your keywords in the beginning stages. As the campaign progresses, you have more pages built out, you have more backlinks coming in, don't do this. Then you wouldn't utilize uh, keyword anchor text. All right. So uh, still transported. Doo -doo -doo. So I understand time and money. So let's try and find still is transported. So we can just be like still uh, transported. So we can utilize this. So you can highlight it right there. And again, this is with Oxygen, Elementor and Divi, very, very similar. You might just need to hit the um, edit wheel on Divi, but you can just click the link up above and it'll bring this. So all we need to do is go over to the steel page. We copy uh, the designated URL where we want to send the person when they click on it. So we've highlighted this, okay. We click the link. You highlight that, place it in there. Just make sure that it lines up. So you want to make sure that it's the HTTPS. So it's got the security page on it. You ensure that it's going to your right page. This is the right destination. Okay. Let's click away. Yep, it's there. Let's hit save. That. Uh, Okay, so save. Let's go to the back end because I will show you now how to install a link in a blog post because it's slightly different. So then that way you can install it when it's a post and when it's a page. Okay, so let's say you go in post. Let's click on this. So that way you can install an internal link on your WordPress website, even in your blog post. We we'll just wait for it to load. Now this is a timber transport that already has been uh, set up, but let's find a link that is relevant. So perhaps relevant timber transport industry. So I'll just show you because the team's already placed this content up. 
um, and has already linked. But as an example, if we were to trying to send it across to the page, it's pretty much the exact same. You just highlight what you want to send. You should have the link uh, pop up there and you enter the link like we did before. So you'd place it in there. Now open a new window. I would highly recommend if you're sending someone off your website. So if you're, let's say this was an external link, it was going away. What would happen is you want to have your website open, remain open in the background. So perhaps a user can come back to it. It's a lot easier to come back and you can set the no follow and set as a sponsored link. So if they've paid you for this link. So that's pretty much how you would do the post. So let's go back now and let's check uh, on the home page and we should have our link. So there it is. So steel transport to <laughs> click on that and that should take us to the steel transport. That's pretty much it guys. That's how you install a uh, internal link on your WordPress uh, website. If you have any questions about that, make sure you hit me up down below. More than happy to help. I hope you have a lovely day. Cheers.